The horror movie genre doesn't have regular villains. Instead, the hero usually has to contend against the worst that humanity has to offer. As difficult as some of these moments are to watch where our hero gets hounded by an awful SOB, it makes it all the more gratifying when these sinister scoundrels get their just desserts. But every now and then, killing these evildoers just isn't enough. In this list, we'll be looking at the baddies who endured such an unbearable and deserving demise, they saw death as a mercy. I'm Jess from What Culture, and here are seven horror movie victims who got the best revenge. Number seven, Death Proof, Abby, Jungle Julia, and Zoe. Stuntman Mike is one of those guys who doesn't have a redeemable bone in his body. We know little about this insidious stunt driver, save for the fact that he gets his jollies murdering women with his death proof automobile. So when he sees a bunch of female drivers speeding, he becomes set on killing them. When the women realize what Mike is intending to do, they vow to stop him before he turns any other drivers into roadkill. Even though the girls catch up with him and pummel him with a baseball bat, Mike escapes cackling triumphantly that he's gotten away scot-free. Suddenly, the women's car comes out of nowhere and T-bones Mike's vehicle, totaling it. As they march over, they see Mike nursing his shattered arm while he screams like a baby. Without a shred of sympathy, the girls drag him out of the wreckage and pummel him to death. Just to make this scene all the more satisfying, every one of their 36 punches looks like they really hurt. After watching the blood gushing from Mike's mouth and hearing every bone in his face crunch before he drops dead, you genuinely feel like all the people he murdered over the years have been avenged. Number six, Hostel, Paxton. While traveling around Europe, Paxton and his mates meet a man called Alexi, who encourages them to stay at a hostel in Slovakia that's filled with beautiful, horny women. When the guys hook up with two girls called Natalia and Svetlana, they think they're living the dream. But after Paxton is kidnapped, he discovers the women and Alexi were hired by a secret organization that lures tourists to a remote dungeon where their hedonistic clients torture them. After Paxton escapes, he drives a stolen car into town, causing the dungeon and guards to pursue him. While making his way through town, he happens to spot Natalia, Svetlana, and Alexei perfectly lined up on the road. When they make eye contact with Paxton, he hesitates long enough so they understand what he's about to do. He then rams his foot on the pedal and slams right into them, killing Alexei and Svetlana. Natalia is left badly injured from the collision, but looks like she'll pull through. But before she has a chance to get away, the car pursuing Paxton drives into her, crushing her body. Even though fans were happy this evil trio got their comeuppance, it was extra rewarding since it briefly seemed like Natalia had avoided her fate. Number 5. Teeth – Dawn O'Keefe Teeth follows a religious woman called Dawn, who practices abstinence with her Christian friends. However, her hope of remaining celibate works a little too well since she suddenly develops vagina dentata. In layman's terms, the condition causes her private parts to sprout teeth that will bite off anything that comes near them. Shortly after Dawn develops this disorder, multiple men force themselves upon her, including her friend, her boyfriend, and her gynecologist. However, each encounter ends the same way, with Dawn's uniquely positioned mandibles chomping off these men's bits. Although Dawn meets a lot of creeps during this period, there's no one worse than her stepbrother Brad. When she learns that Brad refused to help their dying mother after she collapsed because he was busy having sex, Dawn encourages him to sleep with her. While they're in mid-coitus, Dawn allows her vaginal teeth to shred Brad's genitals off. Out of desperation, Brad screams for his dog to attack her. Instead, the dog sniffs his owner's appendage before wolfing it down. Dawn then makes her exit, leaving Brad to bleed to death. Number four, Get Out, Chris Washington. Get Out follows a black man called Chris who's visiting the family of his girlfriend, Rose Armitage. To his horror, he discovers Rose's father, Dean, is surgically transplanting the minds of his elderly friends and family into younger bodies as a means to cheat death. Believing black people have recently become trendy, the Armitages are targeting African Americans like Chris to use their bodies as vessels. As wicked as the Armitages are, Rose comes across as the most psychotic. Not only is she the one who brought Chris to Dean, we see her scouting online for another black suitor moments after her family prepare for her boyfriend's lobotomy. Luckily, Chris frees himself, burns down the Armitage estate, and kills Dean as well as his wife and son. 
After Chris has Rose shot, he has the perfect opportunity to finish her off. But when a police car suddenly appears, it looks like Chris will be arrested. Knowing there's no possible way for Chris to explain what happened, he holds his hands up, ready to be taken to jail. Luckily, the car is driven by Chris's friend Rod, who's there to rescue him. Chris and Rod then drive away, leaving Rose to bleed to death, knowing the Armitage legacy is destroyed beyond repair. Number 3. Fresh – Noah In Fresh, Noah is ready to give up on men until she meets the man of her dreams, Steve. But when he takes her to his cabin, she learns that Steve is actually called Brendan. Also, he's a cannibal. After Noah tries to flee, he surgically removes the flesh around her buttocks and eats it. Knowing she can't risk another escape, Noah slowly but surely manipulates her captor into believing she wants to be a cannibal too. After she eats breast meat, Brendan is convinced Noah has genuinely changed and decides to have sex with her. Oblivious to Noah's true intentions, Brendan lets her commit fellatio on him, allowing her to bite his balls off. While he rides in agony, she frees the other prisoners before exiting the building. Brendan does his best to capture the women, but due to his nuts being torn off, is easily overpowered by them. After they batter him senseless and hack at him with a shovel, Noah shoots him right between the eyes. After watching Brendan giddily devour women for the previous 90 minutes, it was so gratifying to watch him in his final moments, crying like a child without any dignity or testicles. Number 2. Freaks – The Freaks Freak centers around a carnival sideshow troupe which consists of little people, a bearded lady, conjoined twins, and other people with physical abnormalities. Because of how they look, the group have to endure mockery and bullying on a daily basis. So when a beautiful trapeze artist called Cleopatra falls for the troupe's leader Hans, they're delighted she doesn't treat them like outcasts. Little do they know that Cleopatra is only interested in Hans for his vast inheritance, and intends to have them murdered immediately after they've wed. Because the troop genuinely thought Cleopatra was one of the few normals who accepted them for who they are, they feel utterly betrayed when they learn of her true intentions. After her murder attempt on Hans failed, the group capture Cleopatra and turn her into the biggest freak of all, by ripping out her tongue, gouging out one of her eyes, chopping off her legs, melting her hands to resemble bird feet, and sticking tarred feathers to her body. The group force Cleopatra to live her remaining years as the carnival's newest attraction, the Human Duck Number 1. The Fly 2 – Martin Brundle The Fly 2 takes place soon after Seth Brundle's death, with his hybrid son Martin being born. Despite looking like a normal baby, scientists discover he carries the same fly DNA as his father, encouraging them to transfer Martin to a secure facility. By the time Martin is 5 years old, he's grown into a fully mature adult with super intelligence and reflexes. Acknowledging his vast intelligence, the lead facilitator Anton encourages Martin to work on his father's telepods, since none of his team can get the device to teleport animals without suffering horrific deformities. After Martin fixes the teleporter, he discovers he's turning into a hybrid monster like his father. Worse still, Anton was always aware of Martin's fate and plans on using his mutated body for profit. When Martin eventually transforms into a fly monster, he slaughters everyone in the facility he comes across. Although you'd expect him to murder Anton, Martin has something much, much worse in store for him. After activating a gene-swapping sequence in the telepod, he forces Anton to enter the machine with him causing Martin to re-emerge as a regular human while Anton mutates into a grotesque abomination. Instead of putting him out of his misery, the remaining scientists keep Anton alive in an isolated pen for study. In the closing moments, we see Anton lapping milk from a dog bowl while a housefly sits on the rim taunting him. That's the end of our list, but let me know down in that comment section if you can think of any other examples of horror movie victims who got excellent revenge. As always, I've been Jess from What Culture. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you're liking, come say hi to me on my Twitter account where I'm at JessMcDonald. But make sure you stay tuned to us here for way more horror goodness. Thank you.